Howdy sports fans, are you good? Good, good. So I didn't think I'd be talking about Xbox controllers again so soon after the last video, but you know what they say, when life gives you batteries. What do you mean nobody says that? I've had loads of people say that, like a dozen of them. 12, 13 people said it. Batteries, yeah, life. So if you ever wondered why in a society that will probably have like robot bees like out of that episode of Black Mirror pretty soon, Xbox controllers still use AA batteries, you might be surprised to find out the truth. Duracell UK's marketing manager Luke Anderson in an interview with Stealth Optional has opened up on the details. There's always been this partnership with Duracell and Xbox. It's a constant agreement that Duracell and Microsoft have in place. But what do Microsoft get from this apart from maybe money? As Luke explains, the deal is for OEM to supply the battery product for the Xbox consoles and also the controllers as battery, so that deal is going to go on for a while. It's been going on for a while and I think it needs to go for a while more. When he says a while here, I'm pretty sure he means since the lifetime of the Xbox 360, which was about 50 years ago now it feels. So Xbox get batteries, Duracell give batteries, it's all about batteries. To be honest, living in the pre-apocalypse that we are right now, we could probably do with stocking up on all these batteries that we can get our hands on. While many might balk at this as, come on, it's a bit ridiculous, there's nothing all that wrong with having options after all. Xbox players can either just keep swapping out batteries, buy some rechargeable batteries, or use a battery pack. PlayStation players, meanwhile, won't have any options should their controllers just stop charging one day. I mean, not that that's ever happened to me ever, but still, it could, it could. Let me know what you think of this news down below, and also what your favourite kind of battery is. And also, thank you for watching.